it's Toshiba here with the Joyful Warrior and coming to you with another video. Like, I've recorded three videos this week, so you know that somebody's deep in the trenches of homeschool planning. And so what I have for you today is da -da -da -da, my vocabulary program for the 2018, 2019, can't believe it's 2018, um, school year. And so um, I have used Wordly Wise, which is probably the most popular vocabulary program that we have or that I've heard of in the three years that I've been homeschooling a little well less than three years it'll be my third year and I saw this on Facebook and you guys have no idea how many things that I've been purchasing through Instagram and Facebook ads I I okay that's another a time for another day okay but I saw this and then I saw the lower level this is the newest level and this level is called it's called Mrs. Wordsmith by the way and 10,000 word journey and so this is doing I think it's up to you if you want to do a word a week or a word a day I think it's actually meant to do a word a day. I don't I'm not sure that that's how we're gonna use it now This is a subscription thing a subscription program one of those types of boxes It's a cute little box that it comes in you rip this part off and obviously I've already done that there's a, a Cute little message here I don't know if you can see, I can't see anything, that tells you about it and then you open it up and then all the materials are in there. This gives you an idea of what, of what comes in the box and what it looks like and you can see there, welcome to the narrative journey. And so, cute little box and I, I was more interested in it because of the, the actual three to six year old age but when I looked into the, when I saw what words they were offering, I was like, hmm. I should probably go for the kid, the age of my kids, which was seven to 11, which the, which is ironically the exact ages of my kids. So I have two seven-year-olds, two eight-year-olds and an 11-year-old. And so I just thought I would try something new. I'm not saying that I'm gonna do this $20 a month thing because when I think about that, it's a little bit pricey, but it comes with a flip chart. This is what was in the box. And then you peel back some a 3M little slip and then you put this together and here it is, your handy dandy flip chart, right? And so the way, what you do, what you also get in the um, packet is character daily, yeah, a daily workbook. And so on the back, it's who's who, and these are characters that are gonna be describing the vocabulary words that you're going to get. You also get a deck of cards. Again, these are all about character and words that describe character. So what you're, you are going to do is open it up it's kind of open and go, which is what I liked about it. It's very visual. We're, we're doing more Charlotte Mason hands-on approach this year. And so the first page, it says, make words a part of your day. And it's not like you just see, I just ripped that. And I've only looked through this one other time. It's not like the most durable material ever. It's just like a worksheet. Not sure what the measurement of that is. But again, this will be the first one. And so the first word would be vacant. And then there is an online resource that you go click in. You can watch a video. You're supposed to watch that video. If you do a new word every day, I'm guessing you're gonna have to watch that video every once a day. But I planned on using this actually once a week, maybe twice a week, because I don't want to overload them with words that they won't be able to remember. Anyway, so this right here says adjective, empty or without emotion, like eyes that have a blank and lifeless look, vacant. And so this would actually sit, bear with me, um, in a little clear sleeve, if you can follow me here little clear sleeve that's here see the ingenuity that went into that you slide that down and then it becomes a flip chart voila and so then I mean it's a great flip chart but then I feel like I'd be using this a lot I wish it would have came with extra student sheets I was I don't think that was even an option because on the back of the sheet then there's little things that you get to do so what I'll probably probably can't see because of the light here there is and so you can see where it says, what is a synonym? Synonyms are words that mean the same thing. Step one, circle the synonyms. So vacant, they did one for you. Um, or draw a line to the word pairs. So you would circle the synonym, sorry, like empty, and then draw the line to a word pair. What are word pairs? Word pairs are words that often appear together. So vacant and warehouse. And so the last thing, number three, says choose your favorite word and use it in a sentence. And that's really it. It's very simple. Um, I'm not sure how many words there are, but I'll give you a little flip through. This one is expressive and the worksheet is exactly the same. So not a whole lot of variety. 
Um, so far, I, I don't know, I haven't gone through this a whole lot. Yeah, they all look the same. The next word is dazzling. And I just got it because again, my kids are hands-on. They like that. It was a flip chart when I showed them. I'm not sure we'll actually be able to do one a day. I mean, it would be fun, but I want them to remember it. And I remember listening to um, Homeschool on the Hill and she said that when they were doing Worldly Wise, they ended up using it in their own way because they didn't retain most of the knowledge learned from those vocabulary words by doing, you know, 10 of them every week or 15 of them every week, which is what the lesson called for. So I'm not sure that that will work here. And actually after about five days, you'll see in a moment. So that was dazzling. I do like the illustrations. They're really cute, flawless, and it explains what flawless is. And then there is, wait, here's impeccable. I know it's coming up fast. Okay, here it is. So then there's a review. So after you've done all those words, then there's a review of those words. There's vacant, there's expressive, and this is like a little test or quiz about the things that they learned with those same characters. And even on the back, there's a little bit more review. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I just wanted to share what we're going to be using to begin the school year. I started ordering it throughout the summer so that I could get maybe two months worth and see if I want to continue to use it because you know, $20 a month is a whole lot for just vocabulary. <laughs> I don't think my husband would appreciate doing that times 12. But I just wanted to get, you know, something hands-on, something big where they can see it and then maybe just write that in their notebooks. I haven't, I don't really have a plan for it yet, but this is just what we're gonna be using. Trying to be more, more hands-on to meet my kids' learning style and their needs. Another thing it came with is a deck of cards. And in the deck of cards, I haven't, I tried not to let them touch these. And then it's, um, it says your word pair cards. These are your word pair cards. Use them to test your word pairs to see what you learn. Okay. Um, and it, it describes what word pairs are. So vacant, vacant stare. So for example, as we're, sorry, that's the ice maker, as well as using the word vacant to describe eyes, you might also want to use the word vacant to describe a stare, an expression, or a seat. Um, see how many word pairs you can remember for each word. Oh, okay, I think I get it, I don't really know. So this card is vacant, obviously, and then they would have to guess, almost like taboo, but not taboo. <laughs> That's probably what we're gonna do with it, like play charades, but empty or without emotion, like eyes, having a blank stare, a lifeless look. So maybe I would read the definition to them or show them the word card. I don't know if you can see the light's so bright. Sorry, can't do it. Okay, so anyway, and they're all in the right order. I haven't let them touch them because I recognized as soon as I opened it that they were already in the right order. And maybe we can play a game with just five of these a week. Now, I'm a little disappointed in the size of these because if you can see, you know, based on the size of my hand, how big the cards are. The, the grade that's younger than this, the cards were probably half this size. So can you imagine having you know, um, the cards that are about this, you know, yay big, about a five by seven. I would have liked that more, but then that also reminded me of the first, um, the kindergarten level of Wordly Wise where the cards are really large and then at first you think it's amazing and then you have to, you know, lug that out every single day to do a lesson. Um, my kids love playing cards. We have all kinds. I mean, I'll just give you a little flip through of what words are in the packet since it's easier with these. So this is expressive. Um, I can't read backwards. Fiery, <laughs> dazzling. I can't see that one. Flawless, impeccable. And the words are the same in the flip chart. Um, I can't see. Robust. And the pictures are supposed to describe what those words are. I think this one was bulky. Um, colossal. Uh, squat. Um, lanky. Some of the words are kind of weird, actually. <laughs> Emaciated. They really liked when they heard that. They never heard that word before. Um, assertive. Audacious. They liked that one too. Um, brazen. Um, skipping one. Uh, what does that say? Wary. I, for some reason, I thought it said Mary. Hesitant. <laughs> Insecure. Innovative. Cunning, shrewd, crude, bumbling, and tongue-tied. And so those are all the cards that come in the box. They also match the flip chart. And I just thought it was something cute, you know, 
bright and shiny. It's time to start homeschooling for the new year. I'm trying to think outside the box and not do the same old thing. If you guys have something that you're using and that you're really loving for um, vocabulary, please leave it down below. Again, I said I was gonna order this throughout the summer, so this is my June one, and I'll try to get, hopefully they send it on the month. I think they even might have said every other month because this one is the, this one just came out. The three to six year old one has been out for a while, and this one just came out, and this is the age seven to 11, and so it goes up to higher levels. Anyway, just wanted to share what we were going to be using for vocabulary, and the reason that I'm doing the videos, um, little by little because when I do my entire curriculum reveal I'm probably not gonna have a, have time to do a flip through and I just thought if I do the the curriculum as I get it in then it'll help you guys you know see whatever we're doing and see if you like it not like it you know just sharing it's what we do we don't have real friends we only have virtual friends okay I'm just joking <laughs> but this is what we're using for vocabulary come this upcoming year again this is probably 20 words and it does say part one so that means that there are multiple multiple parts and sharing with my virtual friends so leave me some comments down below let me know what you guys are using and what has worked for you what hasn't worked and maybe we can work together to find something new <laughs> for our kids to do for vocabulary this is what we're trying I'm gonna get June and July in and then see what it's like if I really want to deal with the flip chart the kids really like it it's been sitting up on um, the sofa for a couple days and they can't help but touch it so since they're super tactile I thought that this would be something that would pique their interest thanks a lot for watching have a blessed day. Bye.